The relationship between Tom Brady and Antonio Brown was forged in a scant 11 days a year ago, when the unlikely duo paired briefly to give the New England Patriots the offensive sizzle they lacked after he was released to Brady's obvious frustration. That it will soon renew now in Tampa Bay was predictable only to those who follow the breadcrumbs of their chemistry and who understand the power dynamics of an NFL franchise, who watched that one game in Miami last September when, after just a few days of practice, Brown caught four passes for 56 yards, including a beauty of a back shoulder touchdown throw from Brady. That day, with an NFL investigation into a rape allegation looming, Brady was asked if he felt conflicted about Brown, given the circumstances. I don't make any of those decisions, Brady said. I just show up and play and do my job. Well, not entirely. What Brady wants, Brady often gets, which is why his ongoing support of Brown, he retweeted a contrite tweet from Brown in March, adding a heart emoji, culminated Friday night with the news that the Buccaneers are expected to soon sign him. This pending deal lands fully in Brady's lap to make it work. He made little attempt to conceal his frustration for much of last season in Foxborough, because he did not have the weapons he believed the Patriots should have had. He has them in bunches in the Bucks, but there is no question Brown would not be in Tampa if Brady didn't want him there. Is Brady's pining for Brown odd? Maybe a little, although he has also remained loyal during Brown's darkest days. Is it a bad look that all is forgiven before Brown has even finished serving an eight-game suspension for multiple violations of the league's personal conduct policy? Sure. Those violations stemmed from Brown's no-contest plea to burglary and battery charges in Florida and accusations he sent intimidating texts to a woman who accused him of making unwanted advances toward her. When his suspension was announced in July, the NFL was still looking into civil claims of sexual assault and rape against the receiver, although Commissioner Roger Goodell struck a notably sympathetic note when he spoke of Brown at the Super Bowl in January, saying the league was thinking foremost of his well-being and wanting to help him get on track to be successful in life. But most confusing is why a team like the Bucks, which is so clearly aiming for a Super Bowl, is willing to take on one of the most combustible people in the game, even if it would satisfy the star quarter.